Hello and welcome to A Walk in May with George and with Lupin, my little uh, Hungarian Vizsla dog. So this is these are these are shots, photographs of the field that I walk around um, up the road, about a mile up the road. Um, just showing various things like the hawthorn there um, and, the, and the oak tree and this old um, trunk. I love this. It's great for sitting on in the uh, in the middle of the walk. So it's pretty good vista view from from where I am, looking all around. Um, Here's some red campion. It's uh, alongside the uh, where I walk, and that's a view through uh, a gap in the hedge, across uh, across the fields, buttercups. <coughs> so I've, I found a lot of pheasant eggs uh, that have clearly been uh, stolen by magpies or possibly jays. This this is uh, a wild rose. Uh, it's budding up slowly. Now this field is uh, broad beans. They're actually fodder beans. They won't grow broad beans, but they'll grow beans, but they're horrible. And the farmer lets them grow up, flower, produce um, um, beans. Um, and then after they've, they've died off and gone completely withered and brown they get harvested for silage for a crop for the uh, cattle or sometimes sheep. <clears throat> Lovely oak tree. This is just a very nice peaceful walk. I hardly ever meet anybody. I don't often hear anything other than an aircraft. Some interesting shapes. And at the end of this field, <clears throat> there's uh, quite a large wood and pond area, um, very overgrown. And this is um, a, a footpath that the farmer sprays off each year across his field. Some horses just beside us. So this is the boggy, overgrown wooded area. <clears throat> there are geese and ducks in there. There are quite a lot of birds as well. That is an incredible growth like a goiter on that uh, tree. I often find <clears throat> little oak trees or in this uh, these are oak saplings or ash, uh, that's ash, that have just grown from seed acorns or ash keys that have dropped. Last year I dug up about 12 um, of the little oak saplings and brought them home, potted them and they're growing up now. <coughs> so I'm going around the field and then up the next one which is actually sown with some sort of corn. That's another footpath and you can see that it was too windy that day and the, uh, the spray drifted. This is elderflower, that is about to flower. <clears throat> and I was very lucky to see this plane and buzzard at the same time and get them on camera. I think I'm rather proud of that. <clears throat> so the wild roses in this hedge, um, maybe the facing south, they are now flowering. Wonderful things, I love them. Here's Lupin, looking a bit hot and bothered. <clears throat> and this is a Shire horse ridden by someone down the road, I don't know who. But we had a very nice uh, hello and how are you conversation. Lovely people, lovely horse. This, this um, field was cut for silage, grass. Oh, and by the way, that was a little white butterfly that flicked across. Um, 
Yeah, it was cut for silage about a week ago, so it's uh, it's growing back now. So it'll probably be another another six weeks or so, and they'll be able to take another cut off. <coughs> Hot dog. I love this tree just because it's in the middle of a field on its own. <coughs> Sweet chestnut, a red version. Can't, um, can't remember what it's called. Asculus carnier, I think. And this is me on my way back past this rather lovely um, old Tudor house, um, which has been there for a long, 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 many decades, many centuries. And these are some um, still flowering um, rhododendrons in their garden, which I thought were rather nice. View from the lane, across to another field where I, uh, where I sometimes walk. This is in because it's a witch elm, and it's the only one I know of around here. And then it's back home, so that's it. Thanks for listening, and see and watching. <laughs>